All right, Sarah, so this was a ton of fun to make, it looked like. Oh and my gosh, so much fun. You get to play the supportive and doting girlfriend, and it's pretty <laughs> tragic, but it's still an inspirational story. Talk to me about just being able to tell it. It was an inspirational story for all involved. I think Freddie Steinmark is just an astronomically good human, and being able to tell his story um, to the masses, I think, is, is, a great, is a great feat. We're very proud of it. I'm a sports fan. I had no Good. idea Freddie Steinmark even existed. So when I'm watching this, I'm like, what happens? Yeah. Did you have any idea about any of the story beforehand? I didn't know, and I read Courage Beyond the Game, which was the book, and it was so helpful in sort of creating that world for me and, and, and diving into the script. But I do think it is good that, that Freddie Steinmark's story is not wildly um, or widely known, moreover. It's, I think the ending's going to be a shock for people. I think it's going to be an emotional, it's going to take an emotional yeah, toll. Yeah, I was in tears. I was those, like, oh, good, this is what, awful. What we want. <laughs> his story, I mean, his story is so emotional. It's all true. Um, this is all based on fact, on people's lives. I think um, these good people and their lives um, that are there on camera should be told and should be shared with the world. This is such a different generation. Uh, you have a young woman. I'm, I'm think of it today. Would it be the same? And it probably wouldn't. But I don't think so. No, it wouldn't, I right? think it gets convoluted as as sort of like the decades progress. But yeah, in like 1950s. I mean, this is the most honest and pure story we can possibly tell. She like stuck by him through like the hardest Everything. stuff. Everything. How do you depict that? How do you and Finn create that chemistry to be able to depict that? Do you know what? Because I think it's a partnership. You know, there's no more, there's no one more dominant than the other. I think it was like an equal partnership, and that was really important. You know, she was not, she was not just, I guess, a doting girlfriend, nor was he a doting boyfriend. They loved each other like a partnership and a team. Um, and that was, I think, that was the most important thing. That was when Linda Wheeler was on the phone to me. It was. This is what they were. This was the truth. These they were inseparable, and um, it was they were important to each other on a whole level that I've probably never experienced in my real life. The man who wrote the movie has written two of my favorite all-time movies. I know they're so good. <laughs> Do you watch Rudy and Hoosiers before you go into this and just like, all right, it's time to get pumped and yes. get this thing going. <laughs> he tells the most inspirational <laughs> stories. It's an underdogs and tells them so well. He's really brilliant. Angelo is so talented and gifted and wrote this story and and yeah, we love him dearly. One of the things I love about the story is obviously we see the football action, but we see the action, the family, and what happens, the humanizing <laughs> of what goes on for athletes. Talk to me about that end of it as well, because I think that's an important end. We see these athletes and everything they perform on the field, but we never really see what's happening off the field. That's very true, and the emotional toll that, that the game sort of takes on you, um, or has on you, moreover. It's like these people go through so much together and I think when when they're separated and it's nighttime and they have to deal with what's happened, it's it's it takes a, it's a hardship. It's um, it affects them all differently. And Freddie was a brave sort of courageous soul who took everything on his back and held up everyone, um, and a, as well as his team. Have you ever had a situation in your own life where you could connect with something like this, a, a tragedy or I mean, something? Fortunately, I have I have not experienced this. Has not touched my my personal life, but that doesn't mean that when talking to Linda on the phone, I was not moved to tears to the point where I was like, this is so important for me to tell this story. It's so important for me to be this woman and share what she went through. Um, what, was, what was Linda's feedback on everything? Obviously, she lived this. Yeah, she lived it. Her, I mean, her, her youth was, was Freddie Steinmark. So, I mean, I'm sure it's very hard for her. I'm sure I, I couldn't imagine. Could you imagine watching no. yourself? I didn't know the story, so by like the last yeah. 15 minutes, I'm sitting there and I'm like, this can't happen. I'm like, yeah. this has to have a Rudy-like ending, and it's the opposite of the Rudy-like ending. Yep. I was totally bummed out. <laughs> but yet, you, you know, I was talking to Angela earlier, and he talks about it is, you know, we define our lives by what, why, what we did while we were here, yes. and this guy really did a lot in such a short period of time. It must have been inspiring. It was so, really inspiring, and even to talk to Freddie's family, who were on set quite a bit, they were they were moved by him. They were moved to tears pretty much any time you mentioned his name. And for him to have died so long ago, seventies, um, early seventies, and still hold your attention the way that he does. I mean, it's just mind blowing. He was a brilliant person.